Hello, so this is day five of Thy Kingdom Come and it's entitled The Lost Sheep, an offer. So this is a scripture reading, it's a combination of readings from Luke 15, 1 to 6 and also it refers to Matthew 18, 12 to 14. Now, all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, this fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable, Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. When he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. So the loving God pursues us just as the shepherd leaves the 99 to find the one. From a rational perspective, the shepherd would do better to guard his 99 and forsake the one that's lost because that would be more profitable. But God's love doesn't seek profit. Every individual sheep is worth pursuing. Sometimes we can be exclusive about the people for whom we want to show love and care. In verse 2 we read, the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. But the Jesus that we claim to follow ate with all sorts of people. The sinners and the tax collectors were people that he came to find. Jesus went to Matthew's house. Matthew was the tax collector to have dinner with him. Jesus went out of his way to spend time to eat with a group of people who many in society rejected. In the same way, Jesus left heaven and came down, not only to dine with us, but also to die for us. He has done everything to find us. So let us pray. Loving Father God, we thank you for coming to find us with your love. Please come to find the friends that we're praying for at this time. Amen. Amen. And the little action point is in our booklet, instead of just expecting people to come to church, well, they can't at the moment, can they? <coughs> uh, could we imitate Jesus and leave our comfort zones to be with them? Well, there's the challenge as we uh, are in this lockdown situation. Bless you all. Amen. Amen.